Welcome to Knowledge Graphs. Week 3, Query Knowledge Graphs with Sparkle. This is the second hands-on of the week, and here we will talk about how to query DBpedia. In the previous hands-on, we did it with Wikidata, and we will continue and just have a short overview how to query a different knowledge graph, what is, it, what is different there, and also how to visualize or provide different output in HTML. Um, for, for this, um, for this hands-on, you would have to install the Sparkle wrapper. Uh, we also talked about it last time. It's the package that helps Sparkle different knowledge graphs, and it's completely endpoint independent, so you can Sparkle any endpoint there. So let's start. Um, for this, here's the command where we can start, where we install the package. So I did it before, so just we don't have to wait. And of course, we have to import a couple of um, yeah, a, a, a couple of methods like J JSON, XML, RDF, and for um, the output we also need pandas. After it, we of course have to determine our Sparkle endpoint, which is in this case DBpedia, and to provide an output format. So we want to have JSON, but you can have anything, XML, RDF, and so on. Let's do it. Yep. And that's it. We can start queries in Knowledge Graph. So first of all, I would like to show you how to, what kind of information is there in DBpedia. And for example, we can, um, we can show or we can list all the Nobel laureates in literature over years. And also what we want to see how they looked like, if they have kind of a photograph, a thumbnail um, there, and we have to and we want to see the description, yes, who they were and what kind of information as as literal as string is provided about um, about them. And so I will just slightly go through it. Yes, so we define all the prefixes with what, what we need. So DBpedia. Uh, ontology is the real ontology and they use different uh, kind of vocabularies. For example, they use also ADFS or what, what you learned about. They also use DC terms and yes, all the, all the important and very uh, like best practices vocabularies, the standards. And we start. So basically we start and say, okay, we want to have um, a date when they won the Nobel Prize, we want an author, we want his name, we want a photograph, and we, of course, want a description. Easy. And then we start. So the author has to be a writer, yes? And the author has to be a subject of Nobel uh, laureates in literature. In DPpedia, um, there are some, um, uh, yeah, some categories. So some, some entities belong to some categories. And in this case, the category is Nobel laureates in literature. And the author who won it is um, yeah, one entity in this category, and it is connected to the category via DCT subject. Then we want to have, of course, the author's name. And what is interesting and would be useful the output, we will also want to have um, a link to the Wikipa uh, uh, Wikipedia from this author, yes? So we take it from DBpedia, and we also want to have a, D a Wikipedia link to this person, so we can also get more information there. Yes, so we also filter, because we, on we only want to have the author's name in English and also description in English, because yeah, DBpedia is also language independent, and otherwise it will provide you with all the possible um, labels in different languages and it's, it's, it's good to have, but it's also hard to read. And we also want to see um, yeah, in um, the date when the pr Nobel Prize wa was won, yes? Because for this we have to um, take a look at the category and see when, who won, when um, the, this prize was won. And of course, we, provide, we, we want to see an optional, if available, a thumbnail of the, or of the author. That perhaps will not be the case for anyone, so we say the optional. And of course we want to order it by date. We save the result in, in JSON, yes, and uh, return in, in JSON format. But what we want to, we also want it to do, we, on, we also want to visualize it with into, uh, as HTML. Yes, for this we will provide 
we will use the package um, IPython and also the um, method files and create HTML. You can also play around with it and for that we have to uh, and try out different um, representations. So, but you c let's take a look what we created. We have, we just open a new file, it's empty and call it HTML. And then we step by step convert every uh, yeah, JSON line to into HTML. And for example, we see here, yes, if author is there, it will be the link and it has to be, yeah, so it has to be like a hyperlink. The author's name has to be, um, has to contain a hyperlink to his Wikipedia page. And of course, if date is there, then the date will come. If there's date none, then it has, nothing has to come. If the description is there, where to put the thumbnail and so on. And we save the file. I also, uh, here you can see the mirror representation of HTML file. Yes, so here's how it will look, yes. Um, there will be, th there is a thumbnail of a person, as a link or the name, and of course, the description. And also, we downloaded the HTML file. Let's take a look, and here, you can see here. And this is it. So we have Nobel laureates in literature over years. And it's, uh, start with this, and we can also go to the Wikipedia link. And that would be it. Let's move further. And also what we want to do, we, all, we want to list all the points, uh, all the points in DBpedia. Of course, uh, also what is written here, remember there is not only one and correct way to model same facts. Yes, it's not only one way how to model that a person is a poet. First, you can, for example, you can do it that the person is of type poet. Yes, when the poet is a class. Other um, possibility would be to model that this person has occupation poet, where both person and poet are entities. Yes, so it's, and they are connected to object property. And also, you can also use it as a data type property and say, okay, this person has occupation poet, but the end is literal, yes, so the object is literal. And that's actually what they did in DBpedia. There is, there is no one correct way there. And in order to collect all the, all the poets in one place, we have to go through and, um, yeah, and unite them in one, yes. So this is actually what we did here with union. I'll show it. Yes, so basically we said that the p if the person is of type poet, and per or the person has occupation, poet, or the person has occupation and there is some, some occupation, some literal, for example, and it's defined as a regular expression, poet, then this is po poet and we want to have them. Yes, so the basically the union, all of these people are, po are poets and we want to unite them. And let's take a look at the results. Yes, so here you can also see why it was important to have um, to unite them all because not all of the person are defined as poets, as of type poets, and sometimes we can we have Kayen, for example, and um, he has a occupation and it's a data type property and it's linked to composer, poet, and writer. Yes, or poet and dramatist, or Iranian poet and so on. So these are literals and since we used the regular expressions in there, we could still obtain the information that these people are poets. And that's it. Please try out and send us interesting queries. And yes, uh, the, of course the notebook will be uploaded. You can play around with it and see if we missed some information.